Blender, the popular 3D software, is known for frequent updates throughout the year. In fact, the Blender Foundation typically releases four updates annually. However, this year, the Foundation has unveiled a new release and update schedule, which features a decrease in the number of updates. Instead of four updates per year, Blender will now only have three. According to the company, releasing many updates each year enables quick iteration and progressive improvements. However, based on feedback from developers and users over the years, the Blender Foundation has decided to reduce the number of releases to only three per year. One of the three releases will receive long-term support to satisfy users' needs and minimize the workload and pressure on developers. Additionally, the extra work that goes into each release, including documentation, release notes, organizing builds and tests, and overlapping develop stages, is another reason for reducing the number of updates. Having fewer releases each year will cause less overhead and less time between releases for new features and enhancements. This new schedule will allow more time for the Beacon 1 phase, which is the phase where Blender has the most significant challenges and new features. It will also expand the Beacon 2 phase, which is the improved and stabilized phase. The new schedule also aligns better with major annual events, such as Seagraph Blender Conference and the holiday periods. This year will be a transition period. Therefore, Blender 3.6 will continue to follow the on-schedule release in July, with support until July 2025. The 3.7 version will be skipped to leave more room for Blender 4.0, which will add an extra week for Beacon 1 to unlock for more significant changes. The release of Blender 4.0 is expected to be in late November. The goal of this new schedule is to have a new long-term support release every year with support for two years and a new major version to be released every two years. If you found this video informative, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news in 3D software and the 3D industry.